What costs $100 million, covers 72 acres, and can turn a deplorable slum into a world showplace? It's the 1982 World's Fair, and they're almost ready for it in Knoxville. Well, essentially, we're just uh, finishing off the insides of the buildings, the exhibits themselves, uh, taking care of the paving and uh, finishing off the landscaping, and that's it. Then you're going to have a World's Fair. It's a job that has to be completed by May 1st, when the fair is set to open. The most imposing structure of the 1982 World's Fair is the Sun Sphere, which will house a restaurant and lounge. The 266-foot-tall dome will be covered with glass processed with 24-karat gold dust. This is the first spherical building ever uh, manufactured in the United States, constructed in the United States. And it's the first time that uh, gold dust has been used, not to be ostentatious, by the way, but as a uh, means of being more energy efficient. It becomes 25% more energy efficient with the gold dust manufactured into it. Some 23 foreign nations will have pavilions at the World's Fair, including the People's Republic of China, where sections of the Great Wall will be displayed, and the Japanese pavilion, where life-size multilingual robots will serve as tour guides. And when the World's Fair is over, these structures remain for commercial use. All this in a city which five years ago was best known for its freeway traffic jams. For TriState Report, I'm Dale Pandellas.